Welcome back everyone. Just getting ready to do another round of, uh, of boxes. So trying to, uh, well, I'll show you. Trying to convert this pile into this pile. <laughs> so, I mean, I obviously, hang on a second here. So I obviously have a ways to go yet, but uh, um, a buddy of mine, Alan, came over last night. We managed to get uh, 40 of the 200 boxes done. So that was just uh, in an afternoon and an evening. So I thought that was a pretty pretty good run. Uh, what am I going to do tonight? Well, I'm going to try and get another 10 boxes done. And then uh, then I'm going to take it easy. Maybe join a, uh, a live chat or something like that tonight. So um, I do have this this guide here to help us uh, build the boxes so this isn't uh this isn't mine you can see this on uh, actually nathan with uh, duck river honey has a really good uh, um description of how he built this so i pretty much copied that off of him so rather than me trying to go through and explain how i did it run on over to uh, to nathan's uh, channel there at duck uh, yeah duck river honey and uh check it out <clears throat> it works really slick Basically, you can drop your sides in. This one's big enough. I built it a little bit bigger than what he uh, he had. So this one's big enough to do two uh, deep boxes at a time. Drop the, the sides in there. Now, <clears throat> a lot of people are going to say, why do I glue my boxes? So you don't have to. Um, it's completely personal preference. However, what I found is if you don't glue the boxes and you got them together, they'll, they'll twist back and forth. Or if you glue the boxes, they're good and super sturdy. So I glue all of my boxes. And once again, just because I do it doesn't mean you have to. I'll just go through and do these here really quickly. Now, one of my other videos, I went through and I explained too, to uh, um, pick and choose your boxes. It makes a heck of a difference. And uh, I thought I did that here. Um, when I bought these boxes, I bought these boxes last fall. Wood prices were going pretty much through the roof. So uh, I wanted to make sure that I secured my boxes for, for this season. And I asked a couple questions. So I was purchasing my boxes off a of dancing bee. And uh, these ones here came up. And my, my first question is, is, whose boxes are they? I was told, well, they're, they're, uh, they're dancing bees boxes. They're, they're exactly the same. Uh, perfect. And they said, they're the same quality? Yep. Everything's exactly the same. And then uh, when I went and picked these boxes up, they're like, oh, they're not... They're not dancing bee boxes, they're, uh, they're Lewis and Sons boxes. Now Lewis and Sons boxes are very good too. Between the two, I think the, bee, the boxes that I get from Dancing Bee are a better quality. But Lewis and Sons boxes are, are definitely, you can't go wrong with those either. Let me grab the sides. <clears throat> so, okay, these are Lewis and Sons boxes. Well, okay, I'm still all right. However, they're not Lewis and Sons boxes either. So, uh, um, a little bit disappointed, um, but as I keep telling everybody out there, it really is buyer beware. So uh, I've learned my lesson. I will, uh, I will not be buying boxes again, unless I've actually opened them up. I've seen them. I know exactly where they're from, but uh, um, yeah, so now I have to struggle. So a couple problems I see with these boxes right off the bat. I'll show you here. So these boxes are already 
cracking. I don't know if you can see that. And it's very straight through, so it's on both sides. So that's uh, uh, an issue already. Now, these boxes haven't been out, haven't been weathered, um, haven't dried out. That just plain and simply is the way that they were manufactured. Here's the other problem I have with the boxes. Turn this around, I'll show you. That one fits all right. This one doesn't. So let me show you. <clears throat> so if you take a look on the end, this one lines up, this one lines up, this one, you see, I'll move over, there's a gap, and look how much it's overlapped here. So they don't line up, and some of them go good, and some of them don't. So if you watch one of my videos, the easiest way to do that is with an exact knife. Score it up, run it in, you pop this, this little wedge out, and they'll go right back in there. So, not the end of the world, no, but when you're paying this amount of money for the boxes, you want them to fit. The other thing I do is I use staples. when you got to trim them. Turn them over. Re-glue again. And once again, Personal preference. If you want to glue them, glue them. If you don't, you know what? That's completely up to you. I uh, I glue them all. And if you're asking my opinion, I would say glue them all. for the little bit of time it takes, especially when the boxes get full of honey. That little bit of extra just keeps everything nice and square and tight. Now, if you notice, I glued all three sides on these ones. And on these, you really just have to do the bottoms and I'll show you why as well there. <clears throat> and I'm using tight bond. I prefer tight bond three, except, uh, so tight bond three, I do believe is, uh, one is water. What is it? One is water. Let me see here. One is waterproof, one is water resistant. So, um, Type Bond 3 is water resistant, Type Bond 2 is waterproof. So, when you put these on, being as I did all three sides, 
That's going to do this side, this side, and this side. I only did the bottom, so it'll glue onto this one. So every, every joint that meets, that one's going to go, has got glue on it that way. This one I don't think it's going to. And this is the difference really between a premium box and one not. On this side here, we've got, we got a few we got to do. So some of you might say, you know what? Okay, you got to do a little bit of trimming, that's fine. But when you're building oops, a couple hundred boxes, that adds up in a big hurry. So uh, yeah. I would, uh, I would say take the time, do your research, and make sure you get what you want. This box. When you got her all done, lift the sides up, pull these out of the inside, and you've got two perfectly square boxes. <clears throat> so that's it. Um, over and over and over again. That's what I'll be doing probably for the rest of this week. So uh, this week's building boxes. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, I can show you building the boxes for the rest of the, uh, well, what am I going to be? 100 and, I guess that would be 152, no, 158, being as I got uh, 42 built there now. But uh, it's the same thing over and over. But anyways, until, uh, until next time. Like the videos, please give me a thumbs up, hit the share button, and of course ring the bell if you want the notifications. Till then, have a good one. Bye for now.